Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Han, and today I got this French press. There is a two reasons that I purchased this one. The first one was it is one of the great tools that you can use for bring the coffee at home. So with that, while I'm studying about the specialty coffee, while I'm experimenting about the testing different type of coffee beans, I wanted to use this one to compare with brewed coffee by Plunger and brewed coffee by V60. And another reason that I purchased this one is a while ago. I saw a content from the Instagram, which is there was a barista who used this plunger for make the steam milk texture, and then with that practicing the latte art. And as a barista, I don't really think that to serve a good cup of coffee is really, really essential to throw very fancy, high technique, high skill required latte art. As a barista, person who pouring the coffee, I want to improve my latte art skill. And with that, in 2023, I didn't get a chance to be participate the latte art competition. But in 2024, I want to participate and then want to improve my skills. So yes, that's the another reason that I purchased this one to practice latte art because I don't have an espresso machine. I purchased this one in a local shop, which is called Ulis in Australia, very common supermarket, I'll say. And I spent about ten dollar. $15 or so. It wasn't that really expensive, but I don't really remember what was the price of. So, when you see the product, actually it's very simple. It's just like in a clear jar and then with a handle and that steel filter thing to use straight for plunger or French press. Based on my research, when you are brewing the coffee with French press, you can brew the coffee which has more body and has more like full of taste. I'm not sure which term I don't need to use for them one to describe. But compared to brewing the coffee with pour over, this is has more like taste. Just because uh, when you are brewing the coffee through the French press, the way of brewing is immersion. So all the grinding bean is like submerged in hot water and then it's brewing it from there. So in that way, probably the oil and every flavor, all the taste is like being brewed on coffee. But on the other hand, on a V60 or, or the pour over the coffee is like with the filter paper. And then generally that filter paper is like kind of absorbing the oil. So it's kind of make it the coffee in you know, a body or in the texture wise is like lighter. So I honestly, I never compared both of them. So I can't really say it is really right or not. But that's what I research about it. But today with this one, while I'm taking out this one and then since I purchased this one for practicing latte art. So with that, I will show you how I did practice latte art. Yes, these are the things that I need. I brought the microwave from the kitchen just because when I do the steam milk, it's better to use the warm milk. So I brought this to make it warm. So at here, what I'm gonna do is that instead of espresso, I'll mix this mocha powder to make it espresso. And for the milk, I will pour it here, each serving and then heat up through the microwave and then put in a plunger which is french press and then make it froze and then try to pour it there this much i think one and a half one minute three thirty seconds should be fine yeah just one more maybe two scoops This is the most important part, I think. First, I know what do I need to do is from the outside, you need to do four pump. One, two, three, four. And from the middle to all the way down. Like 20 times. Now, throw this or let made it, so make it finer at the bottom.
like that. So this time it didn't really come up properly because I've been waiting for a while. But I think maybe I'll try to mix it again. Make the froth properly. I think it's more like the espresso chocolate problem. I think this product is not really proper for doing the latte art. So I'm trying to change the product. This time is sort of try. Yeah, it's like this. So yes, today like this, I practiced latte art with using the plunger several times. I tried to use this product at first, which is mocha, sunrise cafe mocha or something. And when I use this product, like when I pouring the milk for this coming up all the way straight, so I couldn't really do any latte art practice. But instead, when I using this one, which is drinking chocolate, I think you can find it from anywhere any store, pretty much every store that you can find it. And then when I mix them with the hot water, it was pretty much working similar like espresso. And actually this is hot chocolate that many cafes also using it as well. So it's gonna be pretty good for practicing. Compared to when I do practice with the espresso machine, I have told me that it takes much longer. But a person like me who doesn't have an espresso machine at home, then I think this is the kind of only option that we can practice. Uh, generally, I prefer to practice my latte art on my day off. So in that way, I can improve my latte art skill, especially like complicated latte art, such as like seahorse, unicorn, or eagles, or that kind of things, which is when I'm pouring it, it takes couple of times. So yes, so that's pretty much everything for today's video. I do have a big interest to participate in 2024 latte art competition because as a barista I want to improve my latte art skill and also I kind of extending my not only for working in a cafe I also want to generate the money through my skills like that and then for doing those things I believe that I already have enough to teach other people who can start from beginner to being able to ladder but I want to improve my skill and also I want to have that profile that have been win or that kind of record so for doing that I'm going to keep practice my ladder of course while I'm serving coffee in cafe as well whenever it's quiet I'm keep practicing ladder but besides of that also whenever I have a day off I'm trying to have this kind of time to practice I hope you enjoyed this video and then if there's someone who willing to be a barista or if you have a friend that who want to learn about the latte but they doesn't have a lot of espresso machine like me then please share this video so they can know how to practice latte at home alright then thank you for watching if you want to see my latte progress you can follow my instagram and yes that's pretty much everything for today's video thank you for watching and i'll see you later